Now, amid lingering speculations that the U.S. is thinking about deploying its missile defense system to South Korea, more U.S. experts have waited in on the issue. They say the deployment is, quote, the minimum operational strategy necessary to counter North Korean threats. Our Connie Kim tells us more. U.S. experts are throwing their support behind the possible deployment to South Korea of the American missile defense system, saying it'll make North Korea think twice before launching provocations. Ben Jackson, who served as a policy advisor at the office of the U.S. Secretary of Defense, said the potential THAAD deployment wouldn't solve all the security issues, but is a minimum required to provide protection in regards to the North's nuclear and ballistic missile threats. Speaking at a seminar in Washington hosted by Asan Institute for International Policy, Jackson said it is better to have more missile shields as long as the price is right. He added that the optimal outcome would be the integration of South Korean and U.S. systems. Daniel Chu, a former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, said that should give China more incentive to work with Washington on North Korea, especially if it is concerned about the implications of the system beyond countering North Korean threats. Chu also stressed that it is unproductive for China to speak of that's purpose given the nature of Pyongyang's nuclear threats. China strongly opposes a possible deployment as THAAD's radar system, which can cover 2,000 kilometers, could be used to monitor parts of mainland China, including Beijing. Following high-level talks last week, a senior Chinese foreign ministry official publicly called on South Korea to consider Beijing's interests and concerns about THAAD. Seoul, however, continues to stress that there have been no official discussions with Washington on the matter. Connie Kim, Arirang News.